Well, folks, here we are on the Mississippi, and I fucking hate this mission. No, hate is such a strong word. I'd say more of a passionate disliking. Ah, well. So, as always, our first priority is to gain a good disguise, which for today will be a first-class purses outfit. You'll know them when you see them because they wear those stupid fucking hats. So for me, there are two main approaches. One painfully, frustratingly risky and somewhat difficult approach, and one much easier approach. Now which one am I going to take? The fucking harder one, of course. Why on earth wouldn't I? So the first thing we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, is speak to this elegant gentleman. Beg your pardon, sir. Might I fucking move! To direct a waiter in my direction? So he's basically asked us to get him a waiter. So, let's get him a waiter. Head back through the doors you came into the kitchen to the left. Wait for one of the waiters to leave and get the other one. Not here. Now we'll take this dude's uniform and go back and talk to the same guy from before. By Jove, you're the same man I spoke to before and now you're coincidentally a waiter. Usually I'd be suspicious, but I am quite eager to have intercourse right about now. So here's my room key. Take some booze up to my room. I want to get this bitch drunk so she'll have sex with me. So now we'll take the key from the table and hastily make our way down to the man's room, which is on the lower floor, through the hallway and through the double doors at the end. Enter the man's room, take the VIP pass from the table and suit up in his tuxedo. Now we'll make our way back through the hallway, back up the stairs and back to the room where we started off in the first place. We'll make our way across the room, head through the double doors and then through the following double doors into a hallway. Through one of these doors there is a first class purses outfit neatly folded inside a little bag. Getting to it is the hard part. Ah shit, they found that bloody waiter. <laughs> Good thing I'm no longer wearing a waiter's outfit, otherwise I'd be fucked. So as you can see, you can't just waltz into the room because the guard on the left hand side of the hallway will fucking see you. And you can't fucking sneak past the guard at the door either. Okay, so the first guard has gone into the room, but guess what? The fucking other guard hasn't. That's right buddy, I'm watching you. Oh, are you now? What about now? Oh, a coin, that's far more important. So now we'll just slowly sneak our way in here and- Oh, for fuck's sake! Wait a minute, why the fuck am I doing it the hard way? Screw this, I'll do it the fucking quick and easy way. But you know what? First, let's take care of something. Ah, hello again. I'm quite horny now. Did you get the champagne to my room, old boy? I'll give you your fucking champagne, you pompous old cunt. That's for making me go through all that trouble just to get the disguise I wanted. So now the easy way to get the job done, which is to kill Skip Muldoon and a bunch of Gator Gang members. Make your way up the stairs and just as you get to the top, drop a coin to distract the attention of the guards. Here comes the first of six gang members. Time it correctly and... <laughs> I said, time it correctly, and... Hey! Oomph. Ah! E. So now that he's taken care of, we'll continue along the walkway and hop across the gap to the other area of the vessel. Wait for the guard to finish smoking and go inside, of course. Then we'll climb the fixture up to the next floor and make our way along the walkway. Hey, you're not supposed to be here. Where'd you go? Hey, stop what you're doing. I'm not unconscious, but I can't seem to do anything to prevent this from happening. E. So now we'll grab his gun and place it slightly in front of the stairs before waiting just beneath them. Shortly, a first class person will descend down the stairs, see the gun, go to pick it up, allowing us to grab him from behind and knock him out to take his clothes. So with our new disguise, we'll head up to the top deck in which Muldoon and several gang members are located. Gonna have to search you, sir. Or I could just fucking kill you. How about that? Throw the body of the wonderful doorman over the nearby rail to hide it from view. And while you're at it, let's hide his shotgun too. Now we'll head indoors, head through the door to the left, and off the dude taking a piss. <laughs> Alternatively, you can poison his drink in the main room and kill him that way. Ah, that is some nice beer. Ooh. Ooh, wow, I'm feeling a bit funny. Ooh. Oh, God. Quite dizzy. Oh, my stomach. Oh, the pain. Oh, 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 oh. When it comes to killing Skip Muldoon himself, you can just walk in there while he's not suspecting you and blow his fucking head off. Ooh, I love this shit. Or you can run back downstairs, grab the cake from the kitchen, fill it with poison, and let the fat bastard eat it. Yum, yum. I can't wait to eat this cake. Mmm, mmm. That last thing is divine. Ooh, it's starting to make me feel a little bit sick. Oh. 
Or, instead of poisoning the cake, you can put a fucking mine in it, and just when the fat fuck goes to eat it, Mmm, this cake looks dude. <laughs> After we've killed Skip, there is one last guy up here that we need to kill. So simply hang about until he comes in, then kill him. Also, make sure that before you leave, you grab the goods out of the safe near Skip's bed. Now we'll head back down to the lower deck, reclaim our suit, and kill one final gang member before escaping. Make sure that the smoking guard hasn't returned and climb back down the same fixture as before and head inside. As we enter the corridor, we can see the last gang member kissing a woman in the hallway. Now we just have to wait a moment for our chance to strike. Come on, darling. Let's have sex. Okay. Ah, oh, pre-ejaculating again. I'm sorry, darling. God damn you, you stupid penis. Every time we go to have sex, you go and finish way too early. I have a good mind to cut you off. <laughs> yeah. Now, before we escape, let's have a quick word to his missus. I'm sorry, darling, but we can't have you returning to your bedroom now with a dead guy in and all, so I'm afraid you're going to have to disembark the boat early. So now that all of our targets are dead and we have the goods from Skip safe, we're going to head down to the staff area, run down the hallway, ignore any guard that tries to stop us. Hey, you're not supposed to be- Shut up, don't care. Okay. Get to the life raft and get off this godforsaken boat. As always guys, thanks so much for watching and please be sure to join me next time, because I've got a wedding to stop. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button below and for more videos like this one, as well as video game reviews, gameplay commentaries and other game related media, swing over to my channel and hey, you could always subscribe.